A lady named Lucy Larcombe once said, if the world seems cold to you, you should kindle fires to warm it. And this is called Plan B. Lucy, <laughs> that's nice and all, but it's time to be a little more aggressive. You see, kindling, it's had its go, and now it's time for an inferno. I'll spread love like a pestilence, poison the wells with it, make it an epidemic, a pandemic, or even worse. I'll conquer the airwaves with it, bring it into your workplace and your home, play it through your stereo, your TV, your MP3. Play the piper as I corrupt your children with it. You thought MTV was bad, I'll sneak it into your water supply, release it into the ozone, and let its toxins. <sighs> Flood the atmosphere. I'll coat every needle and rubber glove with it. Put it in every pill and then place the lead on your windowsill. Slip it into the blood banks, wired into the phone. I'll even radiate your food with it. Bad as Three Mile and Chernobyl on HGH and anabolics and with no place. Take out all that pet up rage! Except on you and your family. I'll make it the common cold. Airborne, seaborne, landborne, thoughtborne. Incubation time will be zero. Quarantines will only make it worse. I'll message it subliminally and otherwise. Put it in the mail, pump it to the subways, ticket it, change returns and ATMs. I'll hide in your closet or under your bed, drive it from a plane. Or send it for a ride on a missile. Little boy, fat man, uh, eat your hearts out. Now put down the phone. Don't bother calling anyone. Not the army, the navy, your lawyer, or your mother. Because this... Cannot be stopped. All opposition will fail. Hollywood, mm -mm, they won't have a summer blockbuster star in the resistance because no one will escape untouched. There will only be survivors. <laughs> 